Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Minette Michelle Davis Jackson, also known as Kaya Eve, the mother of all living resurrected. I am the wife, queen, twin, mother of mighty God Ahaya I am that I am. I'm also Sarah resurrected. I'm also Leah resurrected, Rachel's twin. I'm also King David resurrected. I'm also Moses resurrected. And mighty God Ahaya I am that I am dwell within my temple with me, who is Elijah, Eliyahu. Ahaya I am that I am, and the son, Yeshai the Messiah, who is Adrissa Akuna Elba. Yes, Idris El Adrissa Akuna Elba dwells inside my flesh, inside my heart. We share a heart. I'm going to tell you the story again, what happened in the beginning and where we are today and why things are happening the way that they are. On our original planet, we were a black planet full of geniuses. The enemy, the white man, the Russians, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Hindus, they came and they started experimenting on us, wondering why we, the black man, the Indian, the Latino, were so smart. So they started experimenting on us, polluting the royal seed line. So that whenever we started having children, the children come out deformed, like Siamese twins. My, our mother and father, Ahaya I am that I am, and Kaya Eve, the mother of all living, they born us again Adam and myself who is Idris Elba and me Manette Michelle Davis Jackson Eve we keep replicating coming back over and over so our upper selves had our lower selves as twins stuck together as Siamese twins as one being the enemy, they controlled like the doctor's offices like they do today. <clears throat> History has repeated. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, they are experimenting on us and polluting the royal seed in the flesh to where many of our children have asthma. Their eyes look all big with thyroid problems. They trying to disrupt, again, the royal seed line genetics. So on our original planet... As the enemy mandatory had us come into the office, taking our blood samples and experimenting on us, our people started secretly taking their blood samples. When they pricked us, we secretly pricked them, but with needles where they could hardly tell or feel that we touched them. So our parents were gathering this information and gathered it in the crystal because they knew the enemy was going to blow up our planet. So one day, Ahaya Adam and I, Idris Akuna and Elba and I, we were, had come back, you know, from doing whatever in space. We were angels. We could fly. And our parents told us we had to quickly go away because the enemy came with their ships and was blowing up the planet. So our parents gave us a crystal with our enemies DNA to recreate our enemies start life over recreate our enemies and take vengeance on them so as the enemy ships came and they were blowing up our planet with uh, lasers and rockets and things our mother had given us a backpack and the crystal and told us we had to quickly leave and the jet pack we had had us to go like in super warp speed we were running. We were back to back, like I told you on, on Idrissa Akuna Elba, Idris Elba poster that says second coming. That's how Adam and I were joined back to back as Siamese twins, but we were one being as a higher I am that I am, our father with us. So the planet blew up and one, uh, one or two of the ships got away and it was like seven of we Siamese twin angels, seven or eight of us, got away we were running we were flying and the ships were shooting their lasers at us and I was running f I was in front 
but Adrissa was attached to me backwards and he was guiding me on turn left, you know, go right, turn left. And we finally warp speed got away and the ship disappeared. And so over time, we started listening to the crystal to see what we needed to do to start life over, to recreate our enemies, to take vengeance on them, to kill them forever. So history has repeated. Everything that's happening today on this earth happened on our original planet where the enemy blew up our original planet. And as you listened to my stories previously, I told you that Adam and I were undercover working for a company called Sound Spectrum with Mike O'Meara as the owner in this dimension. And the forefront, we were programmers programming software, digital software to make beautiful images. Well, this company held private auctions selling nuclear image, nuclear energy. I'm sorry, nuclear weapons. And they would come every quarter to do the auctions. And they were, like I said, a lot of white people, Hindus, Arabs, Indians, and Hamites. The Egyptians, they come, they bid, I will put on the shows, make the images look very beautiful. And Idrissa, he would show them the nuclear, in, in, uh, nuclear weapon. And they would bid, and whoever bid the highest, of course, they bought the nuclear weapon. And they've been shooting these weapons, nuclear weapons out in space with some of our children's souls trapped inside of these nuclear weapons just to see the souls explode and you know do the beautiful colors like fireworks you see so to cut it short i don't want to make it too long the superman story that christopher reeves stole was our story our mother had given us the crystal to store life over and that's what we did the enemy Esau, the white man, who is Lucifer. In this dimension, like I told you before, is Donald Trump, who's shape-shifting, and to Sabrina Dowry, who at one point in time was Idrissa Okuna Elba, who was a higher I am that I am twin at one point in time. And like I told you before, Ahaya and I, we keep coming back over and over, repopulating the earth. We come back as a daughter and mother or a son and mother or a son and father. We keep coming back over and over and over. The Trinity is shuffled. We come back shuffled. And so, again, like I said, what's happening, I'm jumping because the enemy, he's with the chip implant. They try to jump my thoughts and I jump here and there. If you've been following me, you've been noticing that when I tell a story, I jump from topic to topic that's the enemy attacking me trying to stop the broadcast so again we are back at the beginning and as you follow up my last story you know i gave you analogy of the train tracks this current timeline that we're on is about to crash into the lake of fire with all the sinners all with the mark of the beast everybody in this dimension like i told you i gave you a cell phone analogy we're in a temporary hollow place in a pit of hell in a lost dimension of earth where the sinners there wasn't judged being judged. And I gave you an analogy of the cell phone that it looks like a page you created on your cell phone and you call it the lake of fire. But in a temporary zone and it looks just like your home page, but it's not there. And that's a strong delusion for the enemy. And like I told you before, if you've been following us. It's just like we're in the matrix. You built this world with your mind based on the past. Just like I told you before, the sinners, all they know is the past. The chip implant technology, all they know is the past. So when Mighty God High put everybody to sleep after the six-day creation, we rested, but we were dreaming. And when we were dreaming with our minds, we created this world in this temporary hollow place we're in, a temporary sp space on a Jusa Kuna Elba cell phone, who is a higher mighty God, I am that I am in the flesh, in a demilitarized zone called the Lake of Fire, so that if the enemy tries to escape, they don't escape anywhere but into the Lake of Fire. Ahaya told you that in the book of Thessalonians that he was going to bring, I'm sorry, I forgot what scripture there is, I'm going to paraphrase, he told you that he was going to bring a third of his angels through the fire. 
and refine us as silver is refined and try us as gold is tried. Again, in that temporary hollow place, in a demilitarized zone, not on the private work network, meaning like not on the train track with the righteous going to the future, but we're still in on the train track about the crash in the lake of fire with all the sinners on it. And about to switch the track, the righteous on the right going to the future, but the sinners crashing into the lake of fire. So again... To make a long story short, history has repeated. The crystal our father and mother had given us to start life over. We started life over to recreate our enemies, who is Japheth's descendants and Ham descendants, who my God high is plucking out of the earth. Sending them back to the SUN just to destroy them forever. For blowing up a whole planet of geniuses just because we were smart. And they were jealous. So again, Donald Trump, who is Abaddon, Ronald McDonald, who, who had a form in an old dimension that I used to work for, who used to rape little boys in the booty, who raped me, Eve, the mother of all living first, because he wanted Mighty God Ahaya to transform him into a woman so that he can marry Mighty God Ahaya instead of me. So what did he do when Mighty God Ahaya rejected? He raped me. As a result of white people, which also in the story of the 12 sons of Israel, who was Jacob, the story when Reuben laid with Bela. Because Reuben mother was Leah, who was me. And I was in love with Idris, who was Jacob. Leah and Rachel, who was my twin, we were twins and Bela and Zilpah were our maids were twins. And when Rachel died, I thought Israel, who was Jacob, was going to be with me, right? Leah, because I had Judah and many of the sons. But he didn't. He went to the white woman, Bela. And our firstborn, Reuben, got mad at that and laid with Bela. So that Idris Elba, who was Jacob, who was Israel, wouldn't go into her anymore. So Reuben, the firstborn, was cursed. Many of the firstborns are cursed because, again, Satan, the serpent, the transforming, shape-shifting serpent, raped me, the Eve, first, who was a virgin, who mighty God higher took from his rib and made woman from flesh. All the other beings before me were created beings. He tried something new. He created me from his rib, created woman, raised me first as his daughter in the matrix where the enemy intruded, came in the matrix while we were asleep. The good tar was the protector. They accessed the good tar, which pricked their finger, just like they did on our original planet. We pricked their finger for trespassing, and the private good tar that watched us, the protector, while we were sleeping after the six-day creation, the enemy intruded into the matrix which is the womb like a baby sleeping for nine months in the womb dreaming creating his world while he was sleeping the enemy the white man came into the womb unauthorized and so now that they're in the womb they're perishing Javis descendant and Hamite's descendants for trespassing while we were asleep after the six day creation who were the enemy from our original planet that blew up our planet that we took their DNA from just to recreate them to destroy them. So mighty God Ahaya trapped all our enemies in this one hollow place, a temporary place on his cell phone called the Lake of Fire, on a train track about the crash in the Lake of Fire by him dragging and dropping the whole page into the trash can, which is the incinerator, the black hole inside of the Lake of Fire. While the righteous switch tracks on the track going to the future. And the stupid motherfuckers that keep jumping fa space to space. The jumpers. The I-beamers. The I-beamers. This sunbeam jumping and jumping from space to space. That stole the time travel technology. Will be in an endless loop. A bottomless pit. Jumping forever. Never getting home. Always being condemned. 
all the way into the black hole, crush them into null and void. The end. So to sum it all up, we're back at the beginning to tell all our enemies, our haters, the white men Esau, Javis descendants, Hagar's descendants, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, Javis descendants, the Hamites, the Egyptians. Fuck you, motherfuckers. You reap what you sow. Blood be back on your head. Kaboom, motherfuckers, we got you. Finally. Kaboom. All right, folks. That's the story. There you have it. We recreated our enemies to destroy them in the lake of fire forever. The end.